Well, Ian, in the world of football, this can and does happen every every now and then. Has it been a strange sort of week for you in the players? Um, I think Sunday in particular was tough uh, for myself, the staff, and even the football club. I mean, the gap has been a massive part of the club's history as a player, as a manager. I mean, the success he's had as a manager, I mean, people can never forget that. Um, the club and everyone's got to be grateful for what they've done, what he's done, sorry. But also as well, the staff, he, he's, he wasn't just our gaffer, he, he's a friend of ours, close friend, and will continue to be that. So Sunday was tough, but... After Sunday went, obviously the, the focus switches then and it's um, it's all about the club then and what's ever best for the club and we've got to now prepare the team to go and win some games. Can you just give us an insight into how Sunday developed and, and the sort of conversations that you've had with the chairman as well? Um, I won't go into too much detail about it, but I mean, I, I got a call off, off the, the, the gaffer and the, and the chairman respectively and just uh, explained what was happening moving forward. And it was, like I say, it was a lot to take on on the day. Um, and then, like I say, tough day Sunday, but then Monday we move on and the players like obviously got the news broken to them, so they had a day to get over it. And then we plan and prepare Monday. And can I ask generally what the chairman has said to you in terms of what your brief is now? Um, listen, we're just going to take it step by step. I mean, the chairman's just said, um, as the interim, just make sure you look after the club and the team and go and plan for Saturday and go and um, prepare the team best we can and go and win the game of football, really. And that's that's why we're taking it really step by step. So he hasn't give, given you any indication in terms of a possible time scale and, and how long you may be in charge for? Like I say, I mean, we'll, we'll discuss all that. But I mean, at the moment, I think, I think everyone inside and outside the club has just got to focus on the short term, really. And like I say, I keep saying about it, it's always what's best for the football club. And that's all we're doing now. And what's the mood been like around the players when you broke to them the news and, and also how they've been this week? Um, I think it's like you said, it, it happens in football clubs a lot and players get used to it. Obviously, they have that mourning period of the gaffer's gone and the, the, the gutter for the gaffer because they like them as a person as well as a manager. And then uh, after that, then they have the period of... Am I going to be featuring now? That's what players are like. That's how they work. And all week they've worked hard, they've trained hard, and it's always that. Well, am I going to be playing Saturday now? That's what players are like. I think everyone appreciates that Mickey Mellon doesn't owe this football club anything after after what he's achieved. But how do you reflect on his second spell in charge as manager? Um, I've worked under managers before, and let me tell you this: I've not seen a harder work and more care and manager than than the gaffer. He. he he done more than any other manager I've seen with the work he does. Done more of caring for the club because, like, the club's his life, and he, he couldn't he couldn't have tried any harder. And as the staff did as well, everyone tried the best. And unfortunately, sometimes in football, it just doesn't quite work out for some reasons or other. But like I say, he's give everything, and we all have. And like I say, we're gutted about it, but we've got to prepare for Saturday. Do you just feel like consistency has been the Achilles' heel this season? Yeah, I think um, I think the team have proven that they can perform. I think we've had games this season where we've performed and got results. And uh, strangely enough, that's against the, the top sides. Um, when we've been asked to go and break a team down, probably not being as good at doing that. So maybe something we've got to look at, how we break a team down. We've got a good shape. We don't really come after us, so to speak. So, like I said, there's been pros and cons. Like you say, the inconsistency is something that people address all the time and pick up on. And like I say, we've got to improve all that and start Saturday. And this is a situation which Ian Dawes has been in twice before at, at, at Tranmere. So what are, what are your priorities when you take the role, the role of caretaker manager? I think um, I think the previous couple of times, I think it's different, but it's always the same. It's trying to, trying to lift the players, trying to lift the fans, the club, um, try and get a little bit of information into them that we need moving forward to Saturday and how we're going to play can't bombard them with all the information of what we want because it's only a week to prepare. But we've got to get the crucial information into them, what we want to what we expect off them in and out of possession on Saturday. So we've tried to do that this week. It's been a, like, a good week, but the test will be Saturday. Yeah. Nine games left this season. What What is there to be achieved? Again, I think, um, I think we're at that point in the season where we are in the league that... Um, it's just the next game. The next game, we go and win the next game and then we just keep looking at the next game and don't ever move past that really because the position we're in at the moment, um, you can't get it uh, carried away and go, well, we could still do this because they've got these games left. We've just got to look at that and keep talking about it. Saturday's important to us. And will it be a, how different a Tramia Rovers will we see on, on Saturday? What, what, what's your mindset? Um, 
there'll be a couple of tweaks that we've made. There won't be any um, drastic changes, little tweaks here and there about what we were like in possession and out of possession. Um, and like I say, without giving too much away, it'll probably be let's see what happens Saturday and 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 see what it looks like. Like I mean, I'm I'm confident in how it should look, but I'd be, I'd be interested to get people's opinions on how it did look Saturday in comparison. If you understand what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Anyone from Colchester so always might be listening, of course. Yes. And, yeah. and, and 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 just finally, what's your message to the supporters? Because it, it can be quite a, an uncertain sort of period, can't it, at the moment? Yeah, I think I think the message to the supporters is, and I said this last time. I mean. I've worked at I've worked at clubs. I mean, there's one in particular where <laughs> um let's say it wasn't run very well was an understatement. Th- this this club's run unbelievably well by the chairman. The chairman will never put the club at jeopardy. And what he'll do is he'll employ the right person for the job who he thinks right for the club football club and no one else. And I think there's that trust with the fans to say like to trust what he's doing is right for the future of the club. And um for the short term, myself, Parky, the rest of the staff. The players, we haven't um, we haven't packed up for the end of the season. We're right at it for Saturday, and we're going to give them everything. If they can get behind us Saturday, the away support, which they always do, by the way, and they're great, then it'll be great because we're going to need them, and um, it'll be great to have their support. Right. Just finally, injuries. Is anyone likely to be back? Uh, the only the only one we could possibly have back is Kane Hemmings. He got back on the grass today, so he'll be one to monitor tomorrow. Maybe too soon, but we'll 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 check that out. The others, there's no one returning who were injured last week.